Let's just jump right into this oh so yummy recipe. I'm starting off with one pound of ground breakfast sausage and this is turkey sausage. And if you're using turkey sausage, go ahead and add a half a teaspoon of sage to that. It makes it taste like pork sausage. And this is the type of sausage that I use for those of you interested. And if you don't want turkey sausage, you can always use pork sausage for this recipe. Now we're going to blend that sage right into the sausage. Add half of a yellow onion diced. We're just gonna cook that onion right in with that sausage in order to soften that onion so that our onions aren't crunchy in this casserole. Add about a half of a large bell pepper. I've got some bell pepper that I had already diced up and frozen that I put in this. So it's going to be very colorful, but you can use whatever color bell pepper you would like. And just like the onion, we're letting that bell pepper cook into that sausage and soften up before we put it in our casserole. Now you'll need an eight by 11 baking dish. Go ahead and oil that baking dish really well. Then we are just going to drop this mixture right in that baking dish. Now you can drain your sausage if you would like to, but in this recipe, you really don't have to. Uh, you want it to have a little bit of oil in it because we are putting eggs in this and that will help keep it from sticking to the baking dish. Now we are going to top this with some mixed greens. Yes, some mixed greens. Y'all, this was so yummy. My husband was like, that is not going to be good. I said, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And guess what? It was. It was so good. So I probably put about two cups of these mixed greens on top. I bought a package of mixed greens and I like to freeze them. You can do that just these southern greens, and I used about two cups of them. And then I have six eggs that I'm going to go ahead and just add some salt and pepper to, mix them up. You could even add milk to these if you wanted to. I did not, mostly because I was out of milk, but you could, you could add a little milk to this as well. And I'm guessing probably about a half a cup of milk would work. Now let's whisk those eggs. And by the way, one of my viewers recommended that I use a whisk. I do like it, but I have to really make myself use it because I'm, I've always used a fork. So I, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying to learn to use these newer gadgets in the kitchen. I've been cooking since I was a young girl, y'all, and I'm just old school. Now we're just gonna pour those eggs right on top. And I decided that wasn't enough eggs. So I added two more eggs to this. I repeated the same process. I added salt and pepper to the eggs and then I whisked them up. So that's a total of eight eggs that I put in this casserole. You could even do more. You could get away with using 10 to 12 eggs in this casserole. Now you might have to cook it a little bit longer if you did though. I like to give it a good shake so that I even it out in the baking dish. Let's top this with some cheese. And I used about a cup and a half of mozzarella cheese. You could use a cup and a half to two cups of cheese. You do it the way you like to do it. But y'all, this recipe was too good not to share. Now we are going to put some aluminum foil on top of this. And I like to use a little olive oil on that aluminum foil because it helps to keep it from sticking to your cheese. And this does work. But I like to make a little tint on top of mine too. And I'm using mozzarella cheese and it browns really quick. And I know some of you are gonna give me some grief for using that aluminum foil, but you do you. And I'll do me because I don't use it every day and aluminum is in all kinds of products. There are so many things that are bad for us and we really do have to choose our battles sometimes. I put this in the oven and about 35 minutes later, voila, it's done. I did cook this on 350 degrees. Again, for about 30 to 35 minutes. 
And if you're curious, did my husband like this? He absolutely loved it, and so did I. And we love spinach in our quiche, but these mixed greens were even better.